All right, so today we're going to be finding a linear equation, so we're going to write an equation, uh, but we're only given a table of values. So we have all these numbers inside of a chart. I have an X column and a Y column, and I need to find the uh, equation just given this. Now, if I wanted to, I could. I'm not saying I have to, but I could. Uh, write all of these as ordered pairs if I wanted to. So, for example... For z so if x is 0 and y is 3, couldn't I write 0, 3? And I could also write 1, 5, and so on and so on. So I could find all these ordered pairs, and then I could find the slope by actually graphing all of these points and by making a line. But that takes such a long time, plotting the points on the graph, uh, graphing the line, then finding the slope in between the points. When we're given this table, it's actually really simple on how we do it. So, let me show you how we do it when we're given just these numbers. So, from z so 0, 3. What we're going to do is, we're going to find the change in y. Because you know slope means the change in y over the change in x. And that's the most important thing we need to find. We need to find the slope of this line. And the way we're going to do that is that we're going to find the change between the y's. So, the difference between 3 and 5. So how do I get from 3 to 5? What's the change or what's the difference? So it looks like I have to add 2 to get there. Because that makes sense, right? 3 plus 2 equals 5. 3 plus 2 equals 5. So the change in the y value is 2. Let's see if that pattern holds up here for the next set. So 5 and 7. So from 5 to 7, yes, I do add 2 because 5 plus 2 equals 7. 5 plus 2 equals 7. Then let's do for 7 and 9. 7 plus 2 does equal 9. 7 plus 2 equals 9. So on the left, my change in y is 2. My change in y is 2. So let's go to the other column, the x, and find the change in x. So from 0 to 1, it's 1. From 1 to 2, it's 1. From 2 to 3, it's positive 1. So all my changes in y are positive 2 to negative 1, and all my changes in the next are 1. So 2 over 1, 2 over 1, 2 over 1. So it's obvious that my slope, or my change in y over change of x, is 2 over 1. So remember, it's the change in y over the change of x, so we just found the changes of y in between each number, which was 2, and the changes of y between each number, which was 1. So we have our slope, but the most other important thing we need to know is what our y-intercept is. Now, that would mean, remember our y-intercept, that means x has to be 0. Whenever we find the value of y, x has to equal 0. So, I notice that my y-intercept is going to be 3. How do I know that? Well, look there, I just circled it in green. The x-intercept, I mean the x is 0. So whenever I see 0 in the x column, that means the number next to it, or in this case 3, is my y-intercept, so y equals 3. And remember, to make the equation... I need y equals mx plus b, and we're just going to fill in the blanks, meaning m is 2 over 1 goes here, and b equals 3 will go right here. So my final answer will be y equals 2 over 1 x plus 3. So that's how you make an equation just given a table of values.